are the Mario Men. And uh, yeah, what's up, guys? It's me, Crazy Cube, and Master Monk, the Mario, Mario Men here. here. So, um, how are you guys? Um, professional Preston had to leave. So, um, uh, Preston, if you're watching this, what's up, man? Um, Hunter, if you're watching this too, how you doing, man? Um, yeah. Um, uh, Preston, if you're watching this, it was really nice seeing you again. It's been like yeah. two years. And um, Hunter. I hope to see you soon, aka Fancy Farm Gaming. Again, please subscribe to Hunt the uh, Fancy Farm Gaming. I think he really told me he's at eight sub at eight subscribers now. Awesome. Yeah. Um. See. Uh. Subscribe. Credits to uh Fancy Farm Gaming. He's actually really good at editing his yeah. videos. Yeah. Um. But yeah, let's get into it. So um, we have these X Men comics, X Men, I should say, and um. We're not going to be doing a review on what happened in the book. We're yeah. just going to be doing a review on, like, what, like, the cover looks like. And how cool it is and what yeah. features it has and Easter eggs. Yeah. Master Mom, you got, like, a really cool one. That's Wolverine, right? Yeah, that's, it's, like, the you best you mind for showcase it's character. Show, show oh, yeah, it's fine. Hopefully you guys can see okay. I think you can. Um, we're outside we right now. We can't because there's sun glaring off of the yeah. thing. But... Um, yeah, um, not distracted. um, so we're, yeah, um, sure, um, we're gonna start off with X-Men, and X-Man, I should say, um, so what you wanna start off for? What you wanna start off with first? Ooh, that's really hard, because them are, yeah. they're all I really think awesome. do this. Okay. Alright, so, um, this is a number nine in Marvel, and, um, it's really cool, it came out, uh, 1992, um, it's really cool, um, it goes for $1.25, dollar fifty with taxes, uh, that was pretty, that was a really good deal for 1992. Yeah, in yeah. Canada it's like $1.50, okay. because I don't know why. How much with tax? Canada. Probably like $1.80, dollar eighty. the tax maybe. probably goes up more. I don't know. Um, 25 yeah. cents back in And it's, it's funny, because, um, <laughs> I don't know when they previously sold this, but uh, it says uh, there's like a four dollar price tag right here. So uh -uh. I don't um, know how much it is on eBay, but yeah. it must be worth something because it's based because I can tell by the artwork how Gambit and Cyclops and Beast look. Oh yeah, and Wolverine. I can tell that they're not Uncanny X Men because of their costumes, so they're definitely from the 1990s. 93, 94, that's when I don't remember. 90th. But, uh, yeah. But, which is one of the greatest oh, yeah, versions absolutely. ever. Um, um yeah, it's uh, Wolverine versus uh, Ghost Rider. Oh, yeah. It is, uh, is that the ninth. skeleton that rides the motorcycle? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. It is, uh, the 9th, I want to say, in June. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I think the artwork is and really this good. This is the 9th one ever. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Um, Marvel exclusive. Um, it's the artwork's amazing. Yeah. Uh, all the corners. They have details in every corner. It's insane. Um, I really love this. Uh, and there's Ghost Rider, right? Uh, yeah. yes, Ghost Rider. Good movie. Uh, actually, this is a really good movie. I watched that a few times. Um, so Master Monk, what would you rate this? Oh, sorry um. For that. Probably 9.9. 9. 9. Oh, that looks awesome. But the other one, I'm going to give it 10 out yeah. of 10. We're not rating this. This doesn't, anything that's inside of the book doesn't have, it has nothing to uh, yeah. do with uh, the that's cover. That's a long review yeah, video. It's just the cover. Um, I give this, I love the captions on the color too. The cover, sorry. Um, <laughs> I would say... I gotta go a little below you, maybe like 9.7, so that would average out to 9.8, maybe. And, uh, it's weird, look, there's a $4 price tag, and, uh, if you can see on the back, there is a $350 price tag, it's very weird. Um, yeah, well, I guess so, $350 and $4, and that was probably a while ago, so I'm guessing probably about 10 bucks now. What did you say, 12 solid, 15, 10 bucks? Yeah. Alright, well, um, that was a good hit, um. Next one, uh, before I even say anything, it's um, it's another X Men comic, 30th anniversary, 1962. Oh, I have a lot of those at home. You do? Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, let's see now. Under those 30th anniversary, I have like 
and I'm like, ah, that's different. This is where I am from. All right. Um. Yeah. Well. Um. I think this is personally really cool. Um. Dollar twenty-five. Dollar fifty again. Uh. Approved by the Comics Code Authority. I guess. Marvel. Marvel Comics. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now what's really cool about this is because it's got Wolverine, except without his mask, so I would say Logan, yeah. against his arch enemy, Sabretooth, Victor Creed, yeah. who I think is like the best enemy ever, better than Arcade, Apocalypse, Juggernaut, or Magneto. Yeah. I think he's like the best. This is, um... Again, not judging by the series, just judging by the details and how all this looks. Uh, I gotta give cre creativity to the um, artist that drew this cover. Um, do you know anything? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's, hold on. I don't know if it says his name or not. Jim, Jim Lee. Lee. Jim, Jim Lee. Okay. I think Stanley's son. Okay. If I'm um, right, or just someone named Jim Lee. Okay. Well, um, so this one, it's funny. Uh, there's price tags on this one too. Uh, yeah. we got six bucks right here, six bucks on the money, and over here we have, uh, two dollars fifty cents, so, they're all kind of weird, um, yeah, uh, how much would you rate this, because they're slightly more than the one, uh, that we just did, so maybe, like, twenty dollars sharp, I'm guessing. Yeah, um, I'd rate this, um, ten out of ten, because it's got a great a variety of characters, and yeah. it's number six, so, I mean... And, uh, then we got this one. Um, yeah, so, uh, X-Man, uh, this is really cool, and, um, featuring Spider-Man, Meeting of the Minds, so, first and foremost, I love this, I love, like, titles that have, like, uh, cool, um, captions that, just captions, like, Easter egg captions, I guess. Um, they're really neat, um, I love how they brought Spider-Man in, it's, yeah, like, right out of the Spider-Man animated series, and that is a weird ad. Yeah, I know. What is that ad on the back? Oh, oh it's like a VHS tape. It's a uh, Hercules, but it's got a oh, strange ad of the, uh, the gargoyles or whatever. Yeah. And, um, um, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, I like the Spider-Man. He's like looking at his reflection. That's funny. Um, this is uh, number uh, 37. It says April. Comics. I don't know if that's minutes. April 37th, but 37th uh, is not numbering. Thing. Yeah, so, um, April doesn't have, like, a, uh, certified date. Yeah, April. Uh, it, does, it has it on the bottom, it's signed. Oh, it does. Oh, 1998, oh, April yep. 1998. Um, it is, uh, by, I can't tell. Kavanaga, Chris uh, Cross, Necro? Chris Cross, it's funny, that's a funny name. I don't know. It's I can't, I can song. never read adult yeah. signatures. I don't know how the teacher was able to read my stepfather's signature, I don't get how. <laughs> it's like a scribble. Anyways, um, uh, now on to the best. final one that we were waiting for. Oh, wait, oh, actually, uh, what would you rate this? Um, we have to give our ratings on this. Alright, 9.8. Well, 9.8, I give it a 8. So, I don't really know what that would round to. Probably like a 8.8, .8 maybe. <coughs> I don't know, I'm just doing quick math. But the final, the final one. I'm going to give you guys a drum. Are you ready? Sorry, I'm getting really creative with the drums. Wolverine. This is going to be a solo by Master Monk. Master Monk, you're going to do this all on your own. Um, so I have never read this. So uh, there's probably nothing I can say about that. Um, it looks so cool. Um, um, I just want to say I love the feature, how they uh, did that. Don't, don't tell them yet. Sorry. So as you can see, there is printed quads. Wait, it's not printed. Yeah, they actually took the liberty into putting Wolverine's quads. So it looks like he went into a file. Um, one of, uh, uh, Agent, uh like Nick Fury's files or like, uh, Striker or whatever. And it's, and it's really... Awesome, it is codenamed Wolverine, top secret. Weapon X, aka uh, Roman numerals, weapon 10. And it is Logan. And it is very cool, it is 
50 in January, um, <clears throat> approved, approved by the Comics Code Authority. Uh, 1991, Marvel Entertainment Group, Dot Inc., uh, Incorporated. Marvel Comics. Uh, prior to clearance, only not to be seen by Major Logan. So it's pretty cool. We got to see what, you know, uh, everything that Wolverine has been through. You know, we got a nice sign of Professor Xavier's School of Gifted Youngsters, Mutatus, Mutandus. It's like, I forget. But, um, it's really cool. That's a funny little Easter egg. Um, there's another Easter egg somewhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, here it says Canada, because actually, Wolverine has always been Canadian. He is from Canada. <coughs> he appeared in Hulk number 187 back in the 1970s. With, um, he was versus the Hulk. It's here, the first and the best only Canadian superhero, Wolverine. This is why he was never originally in the 1960s X-Men comic books. And, um, I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool. Oh, this is cool. Uh, it's got adamantanium. It's like a, it's Logan's skeleton, and it's where they put the adamantanium, I think it's called, I can never say it correctly. Yeah, I think it's adamantanium. Uh, where they put it into him, which made, uh, which made his body silver, so he's a wolverine. And, uh, you, I think that is a senatal, but if it is, that is awesome how you see wolverine punching a senatal. That is awesome. Uh, pretty cool, and you see shield, that's a little easter egg for later. Next Fury, the original Next Fury, not Samuel Jackson. Um, and a nice little Easter egg of him in Canada with some friends. Uh, he's catching some fish. Anyways, on to it. Pretty cool. I'm just gonna gonna show you something. Uh, just some cool little Easter eggs in it. We got a uh, Red Skull's Hydra symbol. I don't know if you can see that very well. I know I can. Um, yeah. Hope you can see that. And um. Anyways, I'll show you. There are other X-Men. We do get Forge, we get Professor Xavier, Jubilee, and Rogue, and Cyclops. And yeah, that's really nice. It's okay. I'd give this a, uh... I know this is shocking, but honestly, my favorite one is probably Along Came Saber Tooth. I'm gonna give this Again, a 9.8. Yeah, I know. Even though it's, you know, a special thing, I'm going to give it a 9.8. Because this is the absolute best. Yeah. Along came Sabretooth, the best villain ever. My favorite would either be this, I think, or probably your Wolverine. From yeah, the probably these two. From the information that you're sharing with us, I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10. No joke. Yeah. I just... My favorite part is how they uh, went out of their way to do that with the cool, really cool cover. Yeah. Um, I thought that was really cool and really creative of them. <laughs> and you can like see a uh, detour of the inside of the Yeah. Cover. Um. Anyways. Uh. Should we wrap it up. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Next, we're gonna be doing a review on two double features. We watched two movies. We watched Jurassic World Dominion 3D. I can't wait to talk about that. Oh, and yeah. the Lego Batman movie, which I. Finally saw after years. I've been always wanting to watch it. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Um. Anyways, uh, we're gonna wrap this up, Crazy Coop. Yeah, I think we are. Uh, this is Crazy Coop and, and Master Monk signing off. off. Peace. Have a good day Peace. or night. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.